What a pity I was going to boil some water and yet I can't find a kettle nor a saucepan in the entire kitchen. Doesn't matter though. I think I can boil water in a paper plate and there are plenty of those around. I know what you're saying. You're saying, that's impossible. <laughs> Boil water in a paper plate? Sounds crazy, but it is possible. First, you'll need a safe source of heat. And the safest source of heat in the kitchen is a candle flame placed carefully in the sink. So that in case anything goes wrong, you can quickly put it out with water from the tap. Then, you need some water. Now, I didn't say how much water I'd boil, did I? And in fact, it's a little bit sneaky. I'm going to boil a very small amount, just a few teaspoons of water, which I'll place into the paper plate. Ordinary cold water, there it is there. And very carefully place the paper plate over the flame so that the flame is directly beneath the water. You'll notice that I'm moving the paper plate around slowly but surely. The heat is going through the paper and into the water. Make very sure that you don't let the flame touch the paper plate where there isn't any water. Then you could be in trouble. And make sure you have mum or dad there to supervise when you're doing this. Right, now this may take a few minutes, but I think it'll get there. And there it is, boiling away merrily. You can see the bubbles. What happens here, of course, is that because the water is there, the heat that goes into the paper is passed straight on to the water, and the water boils. It'll only be safe, the paper plate will only be safe while there's water there. It's still slightly dangerous, so that's why you're doing it in the sink. And you can boil water not only in a paper plate, but also a paper cup or even a paper bag. It's difficult, takes a lot of care. And all these bubbles remind me not only of boiling water in a paper plate, but also fountains, which can be very pretty. Do you have any in your city? <laughs>